I just finished doing a restoration on these old Keystone Classics. I think that they're probably in the neighborhood of 40 years old, and they were pretty ugly when I took them out of the shed and started working on them, but they cleaned up pretty good and did a little paint work on them. And I was going to uh, use those to upgrade the back wheels on the Volkswagen. I got a new set of uh, all-terrain TAs on hand ready to go on it. And I wanted to change it, uh, the wheels. Now, since I've done these wheels and got them ready to go on it, I went out to the shed and I dug around some more. And I found a pair of rocket racing wheels that are in... Uh, they're in need of some TLC as well. As you can see, they're, they're pretty scabby looking, but I think I can make them look good too. And I think those will be a better wheel for me to use because they don't have as much offset as the Keystone Classics do. And they're a wider wheel. These are 8 inches wide and the, the Keystones are 7s. So, uh, I think to get started with, we'll take the centers out of these and uh, power wash them. And then we'll be able to see what we got. Because they're kind of dirty. They were on my dad's dune buggy for years. And I don't think they ever got properly cleaned when they were on the dune buggy. So, uh, we'll have at it and see what we've got. center caps look like they're in pretty good condition. They should clean up like new, I think. Even just power washing them made a noticeable improvement, but we've got a long ways to go yet. I'm just going to use a bath of warm, soapy water. And I'm going to work on the rim and see if I can eliminate as much of that surface rust as possible. And uh, I'm going to use steel wool. Just steel wool on that and just work away at it. And uh, it actually does a pretty good job. So there's a little bit of paint spray on there too, the splatter that. Uh, the steel wool will we'll take that off, and, and you can use you can use SOS pads too. Um, but uh, I just I just choose to use the steel wool for the worst of it. And if I have to go to the SOS pads, they uh, they seem to have a little bit better quality soap in them. It seems to have an effect on on taking that rust off. So. It actually doesn't come off too too bad. As long as you've got some chrome left on the wheel to work with, it uh, they actually come up pretty good. Now this center piece, I think we're going to have to strip as much chrome off of it as we can and paint it. And I think I'm going to go with a, a flat gunmetal gray on the center spokes because the chrome on them is all peeling off and it, it's shot. But we can cover that all up with uh, with paint, and uh, they'll still look absolutely beautiful when they're done. So we'll just carry on with with the steel wool treatment, and uh, you can see that that's coming off already. It's going to look good here soon. Okay, that's got the rim on this first one, which was the rustiest one cleaned up and it didn't come up too bad. It's not, uh, the chrome is far from perfect on it, but you know what? When you're rolling down the road, nobody's ever going to notice those little flaws. And after all, it's not a show car. So next thing is to try and get the 
chrome on here removed or smoothed out or whatever so that when you lay the paint on it it's not going to show these shaggy parts and uh, we might have to use a wire brush to get that peeling stuff off. You do have one more alternative if the chrome is too far gone and the wheel is no way it's going to look good is to sandblast the entire wheel and take all the chrome off it and paint the wheel and uh, that looks pretty good too because you can color key it to the car or uh, add your own spin on it. But anyways, we'll just uh, keep working away here. I don't think I'll do that other one. And then we'll get them on the on the bench and start trying to get this this roughed up so that the paint will stick to it and smooth it out and and uh, we'll go from there. Next I am going to attack this shaggy chrome that's peeling off here with a, a variety of wire brushes to get all the major flakes off and uh, get as much loose chrome off as I can. You wouldn't dream of doing this to a nice shiny brand new set of wheels but uh, when they get to this point you gotta be uh, you gotta be tough with them to to clean them up and try and make something out of them. Imagine doing this with a brand new set of Krager SSs. It's like, oh, I didn't know how to clean them. I didn't know that. <laughs> so yeah, we got that wire brush, and then we got a number of of different brushes to go on the on the air drill and uh, we'll just work away at it with those and then we'll try and uh, whatever chrome is left on there we'll work on it with some uh, emery cloth and see how how we do with that because we gotta get this rough uh, chrome rough enough that uh, so that the paint will adhere to it and uh, we don't want it flaking off either. But uh, every every little bit you do to them, they they start to look better. And uh, we'll see once the finished product is how it looks, and uh, decide whether we're going to use these wheels on the Volkswagen or not. looking much better better or worse it's hard to tell of course you can really see where the chrome is gone and uh, the chrome that won't let go it'd be nice if it would all peel off but I'll have to uh, work away at that and see what I can do doing a little bit of sanding here to take the, the glaze off the chrome so that the paint will stick really good and uh, smoothing it out some. Without sandblasting it's, uh, it's not going to be perfect but once it's covered with flat black or flat gray whichever I use um, it won't really be that noticeable and like I said before it's not a show car and uh, you won't be able to see the flaws in these wheels when they're driving down the road. Well that's got one ready for paint anyways. Uh, I started with the worst wheel um, first and uh, the other one the other one that, that doesn't look like the chrome is peeling too bad on it and uh, it shouldn't be too much trouble to get it ready for paint and then uh, we'll just carry on from there. Still got a lot of work to do with the wire wheel and clean this all up so it's all good again and, uh, and uh, we got to 
to check for pitting where the bead is, make sure there's no pits in there because it'll cause a leak on the tire. So as long as this is all cleaned up, and I'll clean this up in here too. And by the time they're done, they'll, they'll pretty much look like brand new wheels again. pretty good job of roughing up that chrome that's uh, destined to be painted. <laughs> Time to tackle this really grungy mess now and it should uh, go alright. I'm going to use this larger sized wire wheel for this and uh, we'll see how it goes. until I feel that it's smooth enough for, uh, for uh, to prevent bead leaks. Now hopefully the wheel that you're working on is in better condition than that first one. Uh, this one's not too bad. It doesn't have a lot of problems. And I uh, should be able to just finish cleaning that up and uh, be ready to mount some rubber on it. This wheel that was in the worst condition, um, to, to smooth that out a little bit more and uh, prevent any further rust from occurring, I'm going to give it a coat of uh, trim clad rust paint and uh, it will help fill in, fill in some more of these little irregularities because there are some pits pit that, there but they're, they're not too bad so we'll just uh, put a new finish on it and uh, smooth it out some more. Put the wheel down. I just put it face down on here, so that I don't get any paint on the, the part that I don't want paint on. And I'm going to just give it a nice, nice even coat of uh, rust paint here, and uh, help smooth it out some more. Even though you won't even see this part ever, except when you're changing tires. Okay, that's got all the bead areas all painted up and, and everything so that uh, it, uh, I laid it on pretty thick to fill in some of those little pock marks, that, the pitting, but, uh, and yeah, I got a little bit of a run in here and there, but that's okay. As long as it fills in those little pits and uh, helps to stop bead leaks from happening. And I didn't see any reason to uh, paint this one because it wasn't, in that bad a condition so just a little bit of a cleanup on that one and looks as good as new so next thing we're going to have to uh, mask off the rim area and we're going to paint we're going to paint this center because you can see how shaggy the chrome is on it I've cleaned it up most of the rough stuff off and uh, smoothed it out as best I can and I'm going to give it a, a special coating and uh, once it's done, it should look really good. Just wiping, wiping these uh, spokes down with some lacquer thinner to make sure there's nothing oily on there and uh, make sure that the paint, the paint will stick to it and uh, make sure they're super clean. And then we'll mask off the chrome rim and we'll be ready to spray. Now we'll mask off the areas that we don't want to paint, the chrome rim, and cover that up with 
this is special masking paper. Now that the wheels are all masked up, I'm ready to start spraying. I'm going to use this uh, product from Rust-Oleum. It's uh, metallic paint and primer in one. And I chose a flat soft iron color. I think that uh, the cap matches it pretty good. And that should look good in there, I hope. So we'll start spraying. Just waiting for this to dry a little bit so I can put the final coat on. Starting to look pretty good. Okay, time for the final coat. And I just finished cleaning the center caps with uh, an SOS pad and they, they look to be in pretty good shape. So I just want to freshen up the, the black in, in the, where the label is. I'm just going to use a little tiny brush and and uh, dab away at it here. And carefully wipe off the excess paint. Like that. Beautiful. Okay, I got this paint drying in the hot sun here bake that and see if we can get the tires mounted this afternoon before the long weekend. Hopefully they can fit us in. this package off with a brand new set of nuts. My old nuts were getting kind of rusty so I opted for a new set. And yep, I got them. It's always nice to have fresh nuts for your wheels. I'm just putting the final polish on these wheels and uh, I'm using Mother's California Gold. Seems to be a good all around wax for just about anything you want to buff up on the car. And uh, So all in total to restore 
or recondition if you want to call it that these mag wheels I think the paint cost me around twelve dollars to do the center and the rest of the material I had on hand which it's basic stuff that a person would normally have in their garage or in their basement or whatever and so for about fifteen dollars worth of material a beautiful set of wheels that are going to last many more years to come and there is the finished product for a couple of wheels that looked like a pair of dog turds when we started they look uh, really good to me of course I'm biased but anyways that's all for now